Today I'd like to talk about the TS100 soldering iron. I use this as my main my main soldering iron uh, on all my circuit boards and uh, I got another one to take out in the field. And what I like is uh, it can work on the 24 volts power cord that it comes with, but it can also work on 12 volts. So I got this battery pack here and it's great because it can, uh, it has multiple ports. It has the five volt so you can charge your your phone it has the 12 volt in and out to charge the battery pack and then it also has 9 volts so you can turn it on see the TS100 uh, initializes it actually has firmware it's a little computer in here so uh, hit this button to turn it on once it once you have power now it heats up pretty quick it's quicker on the on the line power the 24 volt but this is very quick uh, for 12 volt, there's nothing that beats this soldering iron at speed. It's very portable, so I can take this with me uh, in the field, and I'm able to solder um, anything like this. And then you just you just cut the power. I like the power switch that you can you can just be done with it and turn it off. Now this iron also lets you upgrade the firmware. Uh, down right here is a micro USB port, so you can plug that into your computer. And pull down new firmware if you like different functions for the power buttons. It goes up to 400 Celsius right now, which I find is adequate. So what we'll do is I'll do some soldering with this TS100 right now. I'll have links to all of uh, these products down below. Uh, leave any comments. Um, so we'll do some soldering real quick. Okay, I'm going to show how I use the TS100 with uh, with the battery pack and I'll just solder a few things. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. Let it heat up. So first thing, put a little bit of paste. I'm gonna solder the um, USB cable. to this little power board. Okay. You just start with some flux. Make sure the cable gets some of the flux. Then we'll do this last one. Okay, that looks good. What I like about this uh, battery pack too, it's a lithium iron phosphate, so it's much more efficient than your regular lithium battery packs. And uh, I can just take, I can take it anywhere, I don't have to worry about where I am, I can just solder, and the TS100 just makes it so much easier. Also when you use the TS100 with the this is the beveled BC2 tip. It's great because I can I can fix the uh, issues I have on some of my MCUs. Now, for example, got a couple of pins here that don't have much solder. You can see right there. So, go ahead and put some flux in there. Grab some solder. Put some solder on the tip. There we go. 
Sometimes you want to give it a few seconds. Don't be afraid of burning the chip out. You won't let the solder, let it get hot enough to do what it needs to do. So that's the TS-100. That's what I like about it. It's, it's very lightweight and easy to, to manipulate, which is important. Also, everything is contained in this tip. The uh, power, uh, temperature sensor, everything is right there. A lot of these other soldering irons, of course, it's all separate, so it, it's not very efficient. Even though they work, they might work fine, this is a very efficient uh, soldering iron. If you like this video, please uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We appreciate you watching. Thank you.